Hi guys, Sabrina Myers here from Hot Hospitality Exchange and welcome to vlog number five. So I started my hotel adventures with you at the Curtain Hotel in Shoreditch, London. Now on the same day, I actually did visit another hotel just a little bit down the street. This vlog is going to be about the Nobu Hotel Shoreditch. So, the Nobu Hotel shortage is only about a 9 to 10 minute walk from Old Street Station, as you're going to see on the map that's now coming up, or same thing, 10 minute walk from Liverpool Street Station, or about 5-6 minute walk from Shoreditch High Street Station. So on the right of my screen, you are seeing me walk up to the Nobu Shoreditch Hotel, you're going to see the back of the hotel it's really very cool very very designed as you can see so warranting that it's part of the design hotels portfolio there is a little courtyard that actually doesn't belong to the hotel that you can see there's a pub at the corner some great graffiti and street art on the walls all around and um i'm just walking up to the hotel so you can see the entrance next it's part of the design hotels collection which is a fantastic uh, collection of hotels from all around the world and Nobu Hotel Shoreditch is the latest addition to their collection of hotels in London. I think it's really important that you guys know a little bit about the Nobu Hotels and the whole story behind it and the man himself, Nobuyuki Matsuhisa, who basically is the first uh, celebrity chef to create and oversee a hotel brand, which is the Nobu Hotels. But he did that in partnership with the actor, very famous, Robert De Niro. Seeing to my left is a shot of their lobby. And their reception as you walk in, it's all very zen, it's all very modern, Japanese in feel and style and design and look. There's a little area in the front where you can sit and have drinks um, and a little bite-sized food, um, a little lounge area. And if you look straight ahead in the photo, right at the end of this um, space, um, reception, right at the back wall, that's actually the entryway to their modular event space. So Nobu Hotel's event space is called Kaijo and it's a very flexible modular space. It can split into six different rooms and you'll see a picture right now coming over uh, which shows you how the walls can all sort of move and they can fit different um, uh, capacities and different theater formats and different seated styles. It's very very flexible space, it's very sleek, it's very blank canvas, it's very elegant. Um, and as you can see some of the pictures that are coming up um, and you'll see a little video of one of the rooms so you get an idea of the style and the feel. I'm obviously a huge fan of street art and what I loved about this hotel is that it's a Nobu hotel, very modern, very design, but you can just see the street art just outside the window so it really gives you a sense of place which I think is fantastic. So join me as I go check out a bedroom now. I got to see one of their studio suites, which was really lovely, um, very elegant, very contemporary design, very cozy, and it felt very, very warm, uh, beautiful um, Japanese decor incorporated into the space. It was quite a good sized room, which uh, had a big bed, had a separate living um, area just in, on one side of the room um, and there'll be a little video that's going to show you how the television swivels around and comes up which I thought was quite a really cool part of the room. And what's a very interesting um, way that the rooms were designed is they were there was a lot of thought put into them so you can see from this video that there's two ways that they can um, uh, the guests can decide how they want to block off the light so they have floor to ceiling windows um, or they can do sort of like um, this Japanese screen type of closing where a bit of light filters through or they could completely have blackout blinds and of course can't forget the bathrooms so here are the beautiful white marble bathrooms with the gold and I think they are absolutely stunning 
Now, the last part of this blog is, of course, we can't forget about the Nobu restaurant at the Actric Hotel, which is an incredible restaurant. As you walk in, you come down the stairs, it's a real wow space.、Um, large capacity, this is where the guests would have their breakfast if they're staying at the hotel. Of course, it is a restaurant in its own right with an incredible bar, as you can see. There is a lovely space for casual drinks. You can sit at the bar or you can also go and sit at the tables. Plus, they have、um, like a chef's table, so you can actually sit all along the front、um, of the kitchen and see how the chefs are creating all the food, which is fantastic. And what's really, really cool is they have two private dining spaces within the restaurant. So they're not completely private, they're sort of semi private because there's sort of these curtain off、um, walls and you sit inside, but you're still surrounded by the atmosphere of the restaurant.、Um, and there's a space in the front which is slightly bigger, and there's a space at the back, and there's a couple of pictures. And also, they've got a great、um, terrace space at the restaurant, which is next to the bar. So, it's really great if you're organizing a drinks reception, especially in summer. It really does allow for、um, all types of really cool, fun events that you could have out in this space. So, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog on the Nobu Hotel Shortage. It's a great space for smaller events. So, stay tuned. I hope you will subscribe to my channel, like and share this video. And if you have any comments, please put them in the comment box below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next vlog. So, stay hot and hot hospitality exchange. Sabrina Myers signing out. <laughs>